Are you tired of getting kicked in the head? Do you have trouble keeping your hands up? Well, boy, do I have the product for you. Introducing the Hands Up Helmet, a karate helmet that reminds you to keep your hands up by shouting in your face. The Hands Up Helmet is very sleek and not very noticeable, and it only requires two things to run, the headset and the control pack, and a device like a computer or phone with an SSH client. All you need to do to get set up is one, put on the helmet, two, buckle the control pack to your belt, three, turn the power on, and four, SSH into the Raspberry Pi control board through your phone or computer and run the script, and boom, you are all set up and ready to go. My name is Bryce, and this is the Hands Up Robot, a helmet that makes you keep your hands up where you get shouted at. So this was actually made for Mark Rober's monthly class, which I took. It ends today. I finished the robot yesterday, and I'm filming the video about it today. So I have, like, what, 12 hours left until it's due? So this will be interesting. Anyway. The robot works where basically we have two switches on the helmet. They're, I don't know, I found them in a Nerf gun. Like, they were extra Nerf gun switches from when I used to modify Nerf guns. <laughs> so there's two switches on the side of the helmet, and those send a signal down a wire back to the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. Uh, they send a signal to the Arduino, which sits in a little box on your back. Now the box has everything else in it. Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and the battery pack. Those are three things that it needs. And then the only other thing you need that's part, not part of it is some kind of speaker. I have a Bluetooth speaker connected to the Raspberry Pi Zero and it works perfectly. But basically, the Arduino has some code that says when it gets a signal that, they, that they're being pressed, that one of them is being pressed, because I have it so only one of them is needed to trigger it because then otherwise you have to have both of them up and that's kind of impractical when you're actually fighting. So that just turns on a, a boolean variable in the C++ code which basically is, oh this guy's hands are up and it sends a signal via the serial to the Raspberry Pi which is like, oh this guy's hands are up, let's reset our timer. And I'll talk about the timer in a second. Then when I drop it, it sets hands, down, hands up to false sends a signal to the Raspberry Pi, and the Raspberry Pi starts a little timer. Basically, at, there's just a while loop in the Python code on the Raspberry Pi that just loops over and over and over again. And then, during the loop, it's just increasing a variable by like 0.3, and when it gets to 5, it will play a, song, play a certain sound from a bunch of Basically, I just have a folder, and any audio file I put in there, it will play as like as, as like the hands up sound. So I only have four, but it picks a random one and it'll play it. But then basically, when it gets the signal that your hands are up, it resets that timer. So timer is always going; it just always gets reset when your hands are up, and it works perfectly. And I took way too long to try and figure that out. I was trying to do shit like have different threads, I had timers, I had like, at one point I forgot that uh, I made the thread when you got the thing, so there was like 60 threads running at once, I got a memory overflow. <laughs> um, and then, what was I saying? Blech. And then um, I originally I had the Arduino sending out every time, every signal to buttons instead of having a bully. So the Raspberry Pi serial got flooded and you couldn't see anything. It was just 
true false hands up hands down you can't see anything <laughs> it was just way too confusing so eventually that was the solution I uh, found out and it seems to work fine and it working perfectly and the robot works which is awesome my initial plans are to take it to the dojo where we can actually test out with some fighters um, unfortunately it's the week of 4th of July there is no karate class this week so I can't test it with someone besides the people you saw in the video that we were right mother and my sister but anyway uh, yeah that's my little how the hands up robot works if you want a more detailed description and the code I do have it all uploaded to my github which I'll link down in the description there's a whole repository which has all the Arduino code maybe a drawing of what it looks like some pictures and all the Raspberry Pi code if you want to build it you can you'll need a Raspberry Pi Zero Arduino Uno from the Arduino Uno kit from Elegoo, you probably don't need that. Some switches, you know, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using my code, because it's probably shit. <laughs> but you never know. Someone might need it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. This video is already probably way too long. And I will see you in the next one, where we'll probably build more stupid robots. <laughs> Bye.